Good morning. I have just woken up. Do you like me jump up? <laughs> um, and I'm just, I'm going to vlog today. So welcome to my vlog. <laughs> that's what I meant to say. And yeah, that's why I look terrible. So I'm just going to have to tear some porridge and then I'm going to go to London. Woo! So I just thought I'd show you what I'm wearing today. So I am wearing my new coat, which is amazing. It's like cropped. I love it. It's like a teddy bear coat. My new bag, which I'm also in love with. Um, my old jumper, which I haven't worn ages. Leopard print jumper. Jeans and my fave boots. That isn't underwear on the floor, by the way. It's stuff that I need to send to people for eBay. But yeah. And then oh, also my fave necklace. So, oh, why am I so dark? So the first thing you do on any road trip is go and buy treats. Treats! Got some M&M's, which are the best, and I just watched Casey Neistat's vlog yesterday, a vlog, the one where he counts out like 500 M&M's, and I was like, now I need M&M's, and I always get scratchy. If I go to any thing that is so scratchy, because I'm obsessed. So I just got to London, just put my cold on, just took it off, and to put some lipstick on and then what I'm gonna go and do is I've got like an hour and an hour early <clears throat> so I could rearrange my meeting but do you know what I just know I'm not gonna get to eat again today um so I might go to Wagamama's or oh, I saw Pizza Express here actually and I haven't been there in ages so I might just go to Pizza Express and get like a starter or something just to give me some fuel for the day <clears throat> but yeah oh my voice I don't know what's going on with it I sound really husky I was making such a mess of my lipstick. I don't know what's going on in my voice. Oh my god. I feel like Phoebe from Friends. My sticky, sticky, sticky shoes. Does anyone... Oh my god, seriously. I can't go to meetings like this. <laughs> enjoying this at all and I don't have an umbrella because who likes carrying away an umbrella and not me so I can't believe I'm actually doing this in public um, I've just had my meeting I think it was so bad I just had uh, my meeting it went really well so I'm going to go and meet them now things 
anyway this photo booth let alone doing it on your own like is that any more cringe than about the homestead industry on my own I don't know um, and look at this they were so generous they gave me a whole bo um, bag filled with like face masks and products I can't wait to try them just one more look at this cringe thing so zoomed in but the best news is is that I finished an hour before my next meeting so I'm gonna go shopping there she is there she is Sarah if I go On another Zara. Why did this always happen to me? So it's five past midnight and I just got in, hence why I look like a bag of crap. Um, that Grazia Fala event was a bit rubbish like well not rubbish but you know what that lighting is well, anyway you know when expectations just expectations versus reality i don't know i kind of went to meet the pr and it was so busy because i think grazia did like an open invite to regis and yeah you couldn't be flailing find a pr um so it's quite annoying but I still had a really nice time with drinks with the girls and then literally just got home and it's five past midnight. I can't believe it. I can't believe I've been out all day. So I do not plan on setting an alarm for tomorrow. I plan on having a lovely lion. But I'm not going to end this vlog here because I've got loads of stuff in goodie bags and I can see these parcels here. So I thought tomorrow morning I'll just kind of like do a little unboxing or something and then sign off because I don't think I've vlogged that much today so if I do an unboxing then it kind of makes up for it maybe. Good morning from me and Daisy. I do look like a bold man. I don't care. Look how cute she looks. Oh oh my god. Oh tongs. Um, so I am just doing what I promised and showing you my parcels and what else. Oh yeah my goodie bags. Okay, I'll start up here when my goodie bags are. The first event I um, went to was with Garnier and they were talking about their pros connective. I've actually taken some out and used it. But um, ooh, I also bought myself a massage bar from Lush. Can't wait to try that. Um, okay, so as you saw before, the most awkward, lonesome photo booth. <laughs> Um, and then, so this is the range, the, I think this is like the core range, I'm really going to get this wrong, um, I think this is a core range of Pure Active stuff, don't know if it's new, I don't think it is, anyway, she's given me a whole set to try, and she's given my sister a whole set to try, which is so kind, because basically, this range is for adults who suffer from bad skin, I'm sure younger people can use it too, but basically she was just saying how all of the products that are for bad skin are for aimed at teenagers and they're quite harsh and obviously when you're older you don't want to use harsh products on your skin so these are like more gentle products um that help with spots and stuff um but also they're good for sensitive skin so i've got really sensitive skin i don't have particularly bad skin so she said like they'll be great for me too um and she actually had such a go at me because i use boots own cleanser at the moment so she was like you've got to take a whole set and use them and report back so yeah then um this is new this is the same is this the same no this is pure active this is skin active um so i'm guessing that different ranges so this is you know the whole micellar water stuff i have never tried that actually i need to try it um, this is Missler Cleansing Gel Wash. So they were telling me all about the science of Missler Water and how like it is like a magnet to the dirt. Um, so you know how, so this is meant to actually, I don't know how to explain it. So basically 
when I use a face wash, I don't know about you guys, you wash your face and it comes off your skin or like out of your skin but it sits on top of your skin so like when you wash you wipe your face dry with a towel all your makeup comes off with a towel so this is supposed to wash away so you wa you wash your face with it and then when you rinse your face all the makeup comes off so it's not just sitting on top of your face waiting to be rubbed off by a towel and they showed us and there was towels literally clean so yeah you can use this or you can cleanse after if you like to double cleanse but this is quite sufficient on its own for getting rid of makeup so can't wait to try that and then this is amazing so i don't know if this is launched yet or when it's launched but this is a moisture bomb protector so you know these sheet masks these are some new sheet masks they've got coming too so this is a chamomile one and this is more relaxing and then this is a peppermint one no green tea one um, and this is super hydrating. I can't remember what they said about that one. But anyway, these are two new sheet masks. It's really nice because she was saying about how they're like only really um, sheet masks are quite more for like luxe brands. So it's quite nice that they're more affordable. And I, I tried one of these for the first time the other day actually. Didn't even know I was going to this event. So it's quite a good coincidence. And I really liked it once I learned how to put it on right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is like the Moisture Bomb, which was the first one of those, but you can use it on the go. So it's a face mask, but in a spray. And she was saying how you can put it on top of your makeup and it doesn't affect your makeup. How amazing is that? So you just put it, you spray it on your face and then it just soaks in. Um, and it soaks in within like a couple of minutes. Then you can put your makeup on or you can put it on over your makeup on the go. Like if you're in the city, I think it's aimed at like city life stuff. But yeah, how amazing is that? So those are some amazing products, can't wait to try and I'm such, so bad with my skincare so it's really nice to have some things to try. Then I had a meeting with the lovely lady at Vita Liberata and she has given me so many treats. I've already got so many treats from them because they literally send me treats on the reg. Okay, I've got like 10 of these but you can never have too many. Got a nice mitt. This is... Uh, self tan and gradual lotion I haven't tried this yet but this is meant to be really good I need to try all of their products I've only tried um, so far I've tried I'm trying body blur this weekend so this is actually meant to be a crazy good it's like a um, wash off tan but it doesn't wash off with the rain or drink spilling and stuff it only washes off with soap which so that's like perfect um, and I love those last minute tans because I'm really bad for like preparing and always being ready. I'm the sort of person that will be like, I want to wear a dress, but my legs are hairy and I have got pale legs. So yeah, that's perfect. So this is not for that. <laughs> this is like a daily moisturiser. Also perfect for like the summer and stuff or the winter, um, just in general. This is meant to be amazing. I haven't actually tried that. I have tried the Marula oil, which has got SPF in it and it's incredible. Um, and so I can't wait to try this. I really want to try that. I uh, might try that next week actually. Then Body Blur, which I was telling you about, which is amazing. And they've just got one um, colour at the moment, but she was telling me that they're bringing out a lighter colour. So they've just got medium at the moment, but I think they're bringing out a lighter colour and a darker colour. And um, so they have three shades. Or maybe they're just bringing out a lighter colour, so they have two shades. Anyway, they're going to have more than one shade and they're going to have a lighter one, which will be amazing for pasty people like me if you don't want to look too fake this is meant to be incredible so this is serum and it's self tanning and anti-age serum and you can put it in with your um, moisturiser so you just put a couple of drops of the serum in with your moisturiser it's anti-aging and it's like adds a bit of a tan um, and apparently Alicia Keys is like doing no makeup and she's just been using this and she looks amazing so I can't wait to try that then yes there is one more thing left in here bronzer now they have sent me this but i haven't tried it yet so i've got, already got one of these i've been treated so well literally spoiled but this is meant to be amazing um look cosmopolitan beauty award winner um so yeah i think you can use this on your body or on your face it's not just for the body because i always thought vita liberata was just for the body but it's not so they've got face products here too, which is really nice because, I don't know about you, but when I've like got more of a tan on my face, I always feel 100% better.
cake. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I can just feel how luxurious it is. So the first piece is a grey, like a really long sweater dress. Um, and I have one of these, like a chunky sweater dress. But I really liked them. I really liked it. And I thought, I want to wear more dresses in winter and stuff. So I thought a longer one would be perfect. And also, how amazing would this look layered? Like, I love that um, whole, like, long dresses over jeans look. Um, and so I just thought this would look perfect for that. And also, it's just such a staple. Like, is this ever going to go out of style? So soft to do. Then, another knit. This is like a pinky knit. It's much peach, it's more of a peachy colour, which isn't what I expected, but I'm very pleasantly surprised. Oh, it's quite see through. So, yeah, I was thinking of laying this over one of their shirts, but I don't know. I'll have to have a look. But, yeah, this is lovely. So nice. So soft. Everything is like, oh my gosh. Then they sent me a pair of their super slim jeans, and these are a really nice colour, really nice dark denim. I don't have any jeans like this. So yeah, like those. And obviously I'll be wearing these with everything because all I live in is jeans. Parcel number two. So we've got the, this is like what they're known for I think, it's the shirts. Um, so I've just got like a really nice plain white shirt. I really love my striped and other story shirt so I was like I really want a white one. So yeah this is more of like a tailored fit but I feel like it'll look really nice with like the sleeves rolled up and more of like unbuttoned casual kind of thing going on. And then ah, this coat is gorgeous. Like this oatmeal colour actually, it looked more pink on the website, but I really like that oatmeal colour. I really like that actually. I think I prefer it to the pink. But yeah, it's more of an oatmeal colour I'd say than a pink. But how nice is that? It's just the most simple classic coat. So perfect, just like one button. It's almost like a blazery coat. I love coats like that. I had one from Jigsaw that I literally lived in in the summer. I've been spoiled again. Daily occurrence, it seems now. So, I'm gonna go, today on the agenda is a lot of filming. So, it's actually, oh my God, I'm so thinking. Ah! So, it's actually sunny for once today. Um, so, what I'm gonna, like we haven't got lights on or anything. I can't even believe it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and film three videos. So, this is up on Sunday. So on Wednesday, there'll be, I think, a Gucci look for less video or a pink trend, one of those. And then the other one will go up the week after. And I'm going to film a huge haul. I don't know if to split it into two and do, like, things that I've been gifted in one and things that I've bought in another. Um, or just do it all in one. I'll probably just do one huge haul. Um, so, yeah. I've got a lot of filming to do, so, and I've got emails to answer, so I'm going to go and have a cup of tea, have some cornflakes, and then get ready and film. So, thanks so much for watching my video, really hope you liked it, and I'll see you next week with another vlog. Let me know if you guys are enjoying these vlogs, I know I keep saying this, and you keep saying, yeah, I am enjoying them, but like, would you rather me do like a weekly one? I don't know, though, I feel like my week's quite boring. But I could do like a weekly one or are you happy with the day ones? Like just let me know what you think. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye.